How do you roam around within differences of opinions within differences of opinion within one madhab? Can the Muslim pick uh, just pick to either take the cautious path and not do it and take the relaxed position? No, ask a scholar. Ask a scholar. The the principle in fiqh is al murjuh fi muqamal fi muqabilat al rajihi bi manzilat al adam. A weak position when compared to in light of the the sound position, the strongest position, the weak position is as though it doesn't exist. So, <clears throat> for someone who's not a specialist, this person cannot just pick positions. <clears throat> this becomes tashahi where a person just picks, ends up picking, you know, what's easiest for them. And they, that, that is haram. All of the ulama of, of the madhahib will say, that is haram. So you don't do that. <coughs> you don't do that. We just go pick <clears throat> whatever you seem to think that, you know, that's the easiest, I'll just do that. And unfortunately, that's what a lot of people do, right? And then, it, you know, then what happens is then they start criticizing scholars and scholarship. Well, you scholars, you're always arguing or whatever, and you, you know, you're always differing on this or whatever, and how, what are we supposed to do? And they start blaming the ulama when it's their own fault. They've allowed themselves to just pick, 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 whatever they want, and now they can't follow <clears throat> a position that gives them taqwa. <clears throat> Practically, taqwa is what you pick a position and you apply it. So someone who can't do that, they're always looking for the easiest position uh, and they don't put themselves in a, in a situation where they say, okay, Allah's testing me with this. It's inconvenient, but I won't do it, right? That's what the God-fearingness is. So what they do is they, they, they rob themselves of that, that, the potential of gaining that quality. So <clears throat> um, follow a scholar. Follow someone who's qualified because the thing is with fiqh positions and the nature of iftar and answering questions is that you could ask a question and your neighbor could ask a question. You may get one answer depending on your scenario and that's taqwa for you. You follow that and your neighbor could get another answer depending on his scenario and for him <clears throat> it'd be taqwa to follow that. Why? Because... Um, the application of the Sharia changes with the change of circumstances, right? For for a lot of rulings, <coughs> and uh, <clears throat> so that's what you do. As for just picking the strictest opinion, that's a disaster as well, right? Because most people can't maintain it, and then they end up making their life incredibly difficult, incredibly difficult. Then what happens? Shaitan comes in, or oh, you can't live this religion. Look how hard it is, and you know people start blaming Islam when. In fact, the approach is, <clears throat> you know, is it wasn't correct. So do yourself a favor, pick one person and ask this one person your questions. Just do that, whoever it is. There's no limitation. Just pick one person. Pick one person who you think this person's answers will leave me safe. This person's answers will put me in a situation where I won't get into trouble on the day of judgment. That's the criterion. Not how popular they are, not how you know how many followers they have, or not how, how they dress or how long the beard is, whatever, right? Just although that, that's a disputed issue as well, right? Within the schools. Anyway, but just just pick someone who when you hear their words, you think, okay, this person is directing me to what's going to please Allah and be best in my deen, dunya and akhirah. That's it. And listen to them. Once you start asking this person and that person and this person and that person, or whatever, it causes problems, right, for the person involved and then all the others, right, as we've seen a number of times. <clears throat> so that's what you do. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah.